Oh yeah, you're gonna end the stream on your end, right? everyone welcome to the acrylic university road trip during friday night live jeff will be painting unique locations around the world including niagara falls montana tokyo texas hawaii banff provence the swiss alps and so much more 
Afterwards, we'll be giving away the finished painting to someone watching the live stream. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're so excited to have you with us on this epic adventure. This week, we're going to be traveling to Niagara Falls. This beautiful Canadian waterfall attracts over 12 million visitors every single year. Fun fact, plenty of daredevils have gone over the falls on purpose and most of them actually survived. Ann Taylor was the first to do it and went over in a barrel. Since then, many more have followed in her footsteps. One man went over in a massive rubber ball, another in a barrel wrapped with inner tubes. One man even survived the fall with nothing but the clothes on his body. Unfortunately, however, his friends who were intoxicated didn't get any video footage of the stunt. Anyway, I hope you learned a little something, but let's get started painting. Hey friends, welcome to Friday Night Live. So glad you're here. I've got my headphones in because my buddy Peter is right here with me and he's going to be able to answer questions if you have, or he's going to be able to tell me questions and a lot of times he does know the answers because a lot of times we get the same questions or he already knows so he can answer you directly. But please, uh, I just want to say, are you excited to be here? Because I am. I don't know. I, I just, I'm looking forward to tonight. It's going to be really fun. We're on our second week of our world tour and do you guys remember where we are? You probably do because if you saw the, the cover, we're in Niagara Falls tonight. So it's going to be super fun. So I actually want to take some time to show you a little bit what you can expect coming up because it's going to be a blast as we go through this world tour. And I hope that you're able to join us as many times as you can. And be reminded that it's, the next one's going to be two weeks from now. Now, I'm going to be painting a, a painting and, and you can text me right now and, and start getting going on that the, the word win to this number down here. But I also want to let you know I'm going to be giving away a second painting tonight and that's going to be the first one that we do. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, but I'm going to start by just uh, showing you a little bit also about what is coming tonight in terms of or in the next couple weeks. So let's look at this right here. Um, so this is what we're going to be painting tonight, okay? And then we're headed to Montana. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I think I might have spotted Doug Greenman in that picture somewhere, but here is uh, another one. This is actually, some of these are from our, our Friday Night Live, and then a few of these are going to be for our classes, our live classes that we have. So um, they're going to be awesome. That's Montana again. This is course Mount Fuji in Tokyo super excited about this and up to Nova Scotia we're going all around the world I mean it's such a blast then we've got another class that's going to happen from Nova Scotia it's going to be super fun um, then we're headed to Boston I mean not that far away but I just love this I, it, I I love light and I love city scenes and I I just I saw this picture and I just fell in love with it so that's what we're going to do from there and then we're way off we're going to the savannah in Africa. We are going places, I'm telling you. And then we're going to do this as a class scene. Um, another fun one, I think. This is the kind of stuff that I love. Is This is Lagos, Nigeria. And I, I stumbled across this picture and I just fell in love with it. So we're going to go there. This is actually not happening. But this, can you guess where this is? Yes, you can. That's Alaska, and we're going to be there. It's going to be super fun. Another one. Look at this. This class. This is going to be a blast. This is going to be challenging, but it's, isn't this cool? This super old mining town there. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. This is this is Peter's neck of the woods. His one of his stomping grounds places over in Chihuahua. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. And then we're going to Hawaii. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe it. Then we're painting this in our class. Oh, it's going to be fun. And then we're off to Venice. Oh man. If there's a place that I'm looking forward to going, it's, this would be maybe the place. Then we're going to, um, oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at these places. Sedona area down in, um, Arizona, desert rocks. Then we're up to Banff. This is, oh, going to be so fun, guys. So anyways, I, I, uh, I, I'm looking forward to that. But first deal of business that we got to take care of tonight is that we've got this painting right here. And the thing with this painting is that I did this for an event. And I was not able to give this painting away at the event. So I told everybody, you know what? We'll do it at Friday Night Live. And 
so if you know where I painted this, text in your, um, your word. Uh, I, what am I trying to say? Text in the, uh, there we go. I put that on there for you. Hopefully um, you can see that number down there and text the word win to me, but you're going to have to answer. Peter's going to ask you a question about where I painted this and you have to be able to give us your answer um, to be able to win this painting. But I'm excited to give away two paintings tonight. So we're starting off with a bang here and we're going to get this going. Now tonight's picture is, I got to say, a little bit complicated, right? Because if you see that Niagara Falls uh, picture there, it's going to be a, a little bit of detail in there, a little bit of work. And uh, so I'm going to get started drawing and um, I'll let Peter kind of tell tell me stuff but make sure that you're texting in to win that painting I just showed you text in to my number right here and and uh, and and then be ready to answer Peter's question because you might be, be one of the should we announce them at the end of the evening or right when I pick it or what what do you want to do there um you know what Let's hold off on it because it might take a little bit of interaction with you. So we Sounds won't good. announce that right away, but and I might show that again later too, just just to uh, make sure that somebody who comes in later uh, might have a chance. So here we go. I'm just making this uh, image so I can see it a little bit better on my end of Niagara Falls. Now I love. Um, I love this scene and I love the reason I chose this particular scene is because Niagara Falls, I mean, how massive, right? It's, it's just a, a massive, uh, you know, what, I mean, 12 million people go there every year. So there's something significant about it that would draw that many people, right? I mean, so we got a lot of cool stuff obviously happening there, but it's, it's actually a really, um, kind of an interesting thing to to try to uh, paint at the same time because how do you I always find these these places that are so grand and so so immense they're they're a little bit challenging you know like just the fact that you're trying to paint something like this I mean how do you capture the scale of it how do you how do you get the feel of something so big and immense and um, Hey, awesome. It's so fun um, to see you all here, you guys. Um, I'm, I'm just looking real quickly. Leora, Trish, Christine, Jill, yeah. Sherry, Nancy, Jane, welcome. So glad you're here. And um, yeah, looking forward to tonight. But like, uh, yeah, this is just an immense scene here. Go ahead, Peter. Um, people are asking if that's an acrylic marker. Yes, it is. And they're this asking is, what yes. kind of marker it is. Uh, this is actually, <laughs> funny enough, it is the brand. I don't actually see the name, the brand on here, but it's, oh, there it is. You can hardly see it. But it's made by a company called Montana. Um, I like it. It's it's a it's a little different than um, Liquitex markers. I I'm not totally sold on, like, sometimes what will happen with this one is it, it will kind of bleed a tiny little bit. Like, um, what am I trying to say? Like, if I paint over this, it might, that red might mix around a little bit. And it, it's not a big deal, but it's probably the reason I, I tend not to use it quite as much as some of the other kinds that I have. But it's, it's, it's really cool. They... I, I haven't seen them as much um, at the store that I usually would go to, but I, I do kind of like them. So the reason I picked this scene is because we've got this big area, right? Okay, and I just need to like do some work here because I can already tell that my drawing's off. This line goes out up here, and so I've got to get this. these people. They basically come up here. And then down. I, I was super, super tempted to draw this out before you guys got on here because this marker is really not working for me. 
I'm going to grab something else. Um, actually, I'm just going to use a paintbrush, and we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. And I'm going to go. do my best to... Uh, man, I'm so used to uh, having the, the piles of paint down here. I'm going to kind of mix it where, where they would be. But yeah, I was very tempted because this is kind of a lot of detail, a lot of, lot of little things in here. And it, I don't want to, you know, just kind of take all night to do this. So um, we'll kind of be moving fast. But Peter, any, any word out there? How are you guys doing tonight? It's fun to be together. Hope that you yeah, guys had a good week. Yeah, we got uh, a lot of people with us tonight. Not too many questions yet, but we got um, Susan Eckerd, Norm Clark, um, Lucia, or Lucia, Tina Burhans, Josh, Carol Pierce, Diana Greenman. What's up? Awesome, Good to see you all. awesome, awesome. Yeah, so glad you're here with us. It's fun to be together. Hope yeah, that absolutely. you have had a great week and that this is just like the icing on the cake. I know for me... Um, we had a good week. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Yeah. Um, but it has been a good week so far and always thankful for Fridays. It's always fun to hang out, do something here. Absolutely. And yeah. Our next one, like I said, um, is going to be in two weeks from now, the next Friday Night Live. And we're going to Montana. It's going to be super fun. So now what something that I really love in this scene too is I really, really love the, now I didn't go through, sorry about this guys. I kind of spaced it here. I didn't go through my brushes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm using these flats. Uh, they're Princeton Catalyst flats. Really like them a lot. Um, and I use basically from a size four to a size 12 on a painting like this. And, um, and then these are my paints up here. This is a Masterson Stay Wet palette. It's, it's really great because it wicks up the moisture. In fact, underneath, I don't have the, the sponge that comes with it, but I just have a, uh, some paper towel down there that's soaking in water and the moisture is coming through so I can mix on here for a long time. But my colors are white, uh, cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange. This is quinacridone red. This is ultramarine blue. This is uh, Mars black, and this is gray. Now, if, if you are somebody who's participating in the miniature challenge, um, these colors right here are the ones that I'm going to use uh, in the challenge. But I usually have piles mixed out here, and so it looks a little bit different, but the, basically the same thing. The only thing I'm going to add today is down here you can see that I, I've got... Um, this this is thalo blue and i'm going to use this because there's a green kind of like a turquoise green in this painting where the water is that is not going to come about with ultramarine blue so i am going to break out that um that thalo blue now i don't even know if i'm going to use that that orange there but i might dip into the gray a little bit later so very, very, very fun. Okay, so I'm going to just start getting some color onto the canvas in a second. Actually, I forgot. I got to put in this. Um, there's this little island here. I'm just going to make a mark for this. And look, this comes all the way over. It's more like over here. And then a little bit more gradual. Okay. Now, I really want those colors to dry because that's not really any, anything related to the color of the water. So uh, if I put some stuff down now, it's going to be, I, I, I might um, just do it, like I was saying, to get some of the idea of the colors and different stuff. But it's going to be, if it mixes in with that red, it, it will be a little bit off at first. But I generally think in this block in stage as we're trying to kind of work with um, oh man 
Just thinking about the details of these people down here, I'm getting a little bit stressed out by overwhelmed with all <laughs> these little people. Yeah. I'm just going to put them in as marks right now because it's going to take a little time. Um, and I don't even know. I'm probably going to leave them, to be honest. I'm probably not going to get too many too many details on them. But mm-hmm. I'll, I'll put them in and, and we'll, we'll do a little bit of do a little bit on them, but they're not going to be super, super detailed. Yeah, I know. I was you guys can probably hardly scene. see anything, can you? Yeah, I know. Well, the reason I did is because the other scenes were a little bit, um, it's, it's like, it's a really beautiful place, but it's, it was, I, I felt like this one gave me the best opportunity to kind of describe the scene as we would see it, you know, like, a lot of the other scenes were from down below or something like that, and they were cool, but I was like, you know, this one kind of feels like if, if, if I went to travel to Niagara Falls, this is what I imagine seeing more, is the this scene from up above. Um, someone asked if you're switching to the Dynashine method of having little paint pools on your palette. Yeah, I mean, I do like that. And I, I, I'm, I'm not doing it right now, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I, I do like that a lot. And it's, it's, quite, quite, a, it's quite a fun, uh, fun way to, to do it, to just have your paint piles already in place and 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 um you know just be able to kind of draw more exact colors like without mixing everything you know as much right off the bat so that that part's super awesome um i actually just had to kind of start with a new palette so i didn't have time to get those out and mix mix all the the colors or else I probably would have um, stuck with that I, I like <laughs> either you can <laughs> excuse me you can see uh, some of the red coming through right there like I was talking about okay how fast can you paint the Niagara Falls with lots of people in it <laughs> and still do an okay job <laughs> we'll see We'll see. I feel like um, I'm okay. I'm gonna come in here, and this is my ultramarine blue. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow here to make it slightly more green. And I'm gonna come up and start putting in a little bit of color up here for this land and this little island here. And actually, this is where I'm going to open this up, just because I like, well, I guess I could do it with the, the red and the yellow a little bit, too. But I like getting that variety in the, in the blue and in the, these colors. As it comes toward us, I'm going to make it a little bit more, well, it's hard to tell really any difference in this. Um, you know one thing about painting fast that's kind of fun is that when you paint fast um, sometimes what happens is you you you're just forcing yourself to not overthink something right and sometimes overthinking is problematic because you uh, you kind of get stuck in these places where you're 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 just you know you're maybe contemplating something too much that doesn't really need to be contemplated but you don't really know that because you're you're just kind of stuck in the moment but sometimes when you're forced and and one of the reasons I know this is because I've seen it so many times in students uh, when I will teach a workshop and I'll force people to um, to do something in a short amount of time. Like I'll put on a timer and people will start painting and the timer is like 30 minutes or something and people are so overwhelmed with the idea but 
after a while, um, they do it one time and then the next time it's a lot easier and then the next time. And I've found that a lot of times I, the paintings that they'll pull off in those short time periods are, it's like they get into a groove with it. They stop overthinking. They just start going and, and it becomes like, they, they, they're like their best paintings. And, um, and I just, it just strikes me that I think a lot of times we, we, uh, we overthink too much and we get into places where it's, it's just, it's, um, it's like our instincts are actually sometimes a lot better than we think, but we, we, we just don't trust ourselves enough to just look and paint, look and paint, mix the paint, you know, like observe, mix, put it on, observe, mix, put it on, observe, it's the same thing all the time. And, um, so it's kind of fun sometimes to force yourself. And for me, I think I've said this before, but Friday Night Live is the kind of thing that can force me. There's no dead set time limit on me, like nobody's timing me necessarily. But, um, you know, I... Hey, someone I, has a good, uh, good suggestion here. It says, wouldn't this be the type of scene to use artistic license, only paint a handful of persons, ride a car slash truck? Or sidewalk vendor. Oh yeah, I, um, I'm probably. I, I, I'm. I'm basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like make a mass out of this area up here, and I'll put a few little things in here that you can tell. Like there's two people down here. I'll probably try to define them just a little bit more. But yes, I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to define every person. That's for sure. And I'm not going to define everything, but I probably won't add a truck or a vendor in there because that's going to, like, like, I don't see any of that in there, and that seems a little bit more complicated to me, so probably going to avoid that one. But yes, the other, the other suggestion, for sure, I'm going to do that. And in fact, I'm going to start right now with um, putting this sidewalk color in in places and starting to try to try to shape that a little bit good good thought so what else is going out there Peter going on out there um people are talking about Niagara Falls like okay. uh, Amanda says it's amazing if you ever get the chance take the made of the mist it defies words the water coming over the edge is immense oh yeah so that's probably one of the is that one of the uh the boats that's down at the probably. bottom and, yeah because I'm thinking that some of those scenes that I saw from here were from the bottom and they were from boat or at least I could see boats in in the pi pictures and um it was really cool looking, but like I said, I, I felt like, uh, I don't know, I, maybe I made a mistake in choosing this, but, but I, I, I just kind of wanted to, to get this, this, uh, this view of it from here. Yeah, I mean, it's looking good so far. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I have lots of time to screw it up. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ah, ah. Lucia says, I've been there on the Canada side. It was night and the lights were on the falls. It was pretty scary too. Oh, that'd be so cool. I yeah. imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd imagine it would be scary. Like so, <laughs> so oh, powerful goodness, and awe-inspiring. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously they have rails there and, you know, the, the guard. Yeah. Because I'm sure it's scary. I, th I thought it was interesting. I, I was going to say earlier too, I'm like, you know, I'm glad that none of none of us have. Uh, who is the guy that went over the falls in that intro? That that he didn't die, but there have been lots of people who've died trying to go over and make a name for themselves or something like that. And um, yeah, I, but that the one guy that went over and then nobody like took a video of it or something like that. And he, he <laughs> you had made one it. job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, too funny. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see about like this. The simplifying of the stuff here. Um, 
I'm going to just be kind of rough right now in this, not overly detailed, but I'll see how much time I have at the end and see if I can come back to any of this. But wow, Niagara Falls, what a fun place. I mean, I've never been there. How many people have never been there that want to go there? I, you know, am Canadian. So shout out to all the Canadians out there. I am a fellow Canadian as a dual citizen of the United States and Canada. It's having lived in Canada for 10 years, they didn't actually catch on to me that they, they shouldn't allow me in. And they did allow me in. <laughs> Just joking. No, Canada was a super great place to live. Renee and I lived there for 10 years. Uh, have lots of friends there. Renee's parents, of course, still live there. And um, just a really, really awesome country, really. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's a great place to live. And... Uh, um. So, uh, Sue Brent, because you, you asked people if they want to see the falls. Yeah. Um, Sue Brent says, early falls great, and then the wineries too. The boat ride, I have never been brave enough, but they have zip lining for the more adventurous. <laughs> wow, zip lining? That sounds you... awesome. That sounds crazy too. That's a mile, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Wow. Um, Janine says, <clears throat> I haven't been, and I want to go. Uh, Lisa C says, I've never been, but would love to. Me too, Lisa. Me too. Um, yeah, Janice Wallman says the downtown area is really tacky though. Oh, really? Well, we'll avoid downtown. Just stay at the falls. <laughs> yeah. Dennis Redmond says, you know, I think I took it for granted since I went there a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the way it is. You know, a lot of times is you live somewhere and you, you, uh, you know, you kind of, don't appreciate it. I know that that was the way it was for me with uh, even here where I live in Washington state and all the mountains and all the beauty around me, water, you know, you can go to a beach, you can go to the mountains in you know, very short amount of time, all that stuff. And then when I lived in Indianapolis, it was when I really came to appreciate, you know, the beauty that's here because uh, you know, there, Indianapolis was an awesome place to live, and I loved it so much, and, and there's so much you know, about it that I love, but it is not, I will just say, it's not the physical and the geographical, you know, the beauty that way. It's, it's people and you know, cool stuff like that, but it, in terms of geography, it's, it's hard to compare it, and, and, but I didn't realize how much I took for granted, you know, uh, where we live now. And now I've realized that I'm falling into the trap again, having lived here now for another couple years. Um, it's like, oh shoot, I do not want to fall into that thing where I kind of take for granted that it's beautiful and, and all this stuff. How do I, you know, appreciate it and, and, and do the things that, you know, show that you're appreciating it, like just going and, I mean, it's not that I, I don't. It's just that I don't want to fall into that trap again because it's it's the familiarity of stuff, right? <laughs> in fact, our pastor was talking about that a, a little while ago about like he had a friend visit and and this uh, this friend was there. He was driving him back like they were driving around all over and 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 this this every you know ten feet the friend would be like stop stop the car. You know, I gotta gotta get out and take a picture of that. You know, and they'd be driving. There'd be tulip fields, and then he'd stop the car. I've gotta get out. You know, take a picture, and and he just on and on and on. And even on the way down back down to the to the uh, um, the airport, he he was stopping the car because they came and they could see Mount Rainier, and uh, and he was just saying how for you know it was a good lesson for him because he had kind of become so used to all that beauty and used to all that, that it wasn't the treat that it was for his friend. And, and so anyways, that's what I'm trying to avoid is just that idea of, you know, kind of, oh, it's normal. 
you know, it's not normal for most of the world. And I'm sure if you live near Niagara Falls, it would become kind of normal. So I'm going to just soften this edge a little bit right now. And even though I'm going to probably come back and do another, another uh, layer in the sky, it's kind of fun to get that softened a little bit even right now. And let's see. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to pay attention. It's it's uh man, I love some of these colors in that water though. So rich. And so again, I'm using phthalo blue and just a little bit of yellow to get that green and a tiny bit of white in there. And um, hoping that I might adjust that little lamp that goes out there. I'm probably going to lighten that water a little bit just because I like that, that color so much. And as we go, um, there's going to be more kind of whites, white from the frothiness of the water pouring over the edge. Which is, of course, you know, man, I, I wonder... I, how how high is that? I, I don't remember how high the Niagara Falls is. Somebody out there probably knows by heart, so that's why I'm asking. But shout it out. Let let me know how how far that is. And also the thing that I'd also love to know is how wide is this? Like how far from one side of the falls to the other side? Is it? It just looks really big, really, really big. And it's kind of like a horseshoe if I, if I can see things correctly. And not having been there yourself, you kind of, I don't know what it really is like when you're there, but it, from, from what I could see, it looked like it was a bit of a horseshoe. Hey, Jed, you should take a second to talk about the uh, mini challenge sometime. Sure thing. Yes, uh, absolutely. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do something even better. I am going to, I mean, not better, but just, just um, on top of that, I'm going to show you guys here. Isn't this cool? Um, let me get rid of this for a second. But this is, if you haven't been to our site in a while, you won't maybe have seen this, but um, we got a new thing here going on and super fun so take it take a look at this but yeah this is the the mini challenge right here press either of these things and it'll take you right over here and this is going to be starting on february 14th and um it's we you know we have a lot of people going through the miniature challenge right now and it is a really really cool thing and it's pretty accessible um and it, you own it. And so if you want to uh, be part of this, make sure you sign up before February 14th um, because that's when this next round is going to kick off. It's going to be super fun. And basically what it is is you're going to get one uh, mini lesson every, every, um, every week for... 52 weeks. I mean, that's a ton of content. It's a ton of stuff in there. And um, it's it's all really, really cool, good stuff too. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. We just we just opened that up today for the next round. And uh, that's been pretty awesome. We've had a, a number of people already signing up for it and um, super excited to see 
who will be there for that. So if you want to be part of that, this is a great opportunity to do it. Thanks for that reminder, Peter. I was meaning Absolutely. to show that uh, at the beginning and then I forgot. No problem, no problem. Um, Mimi says, mini challenge has been awesome so far, learning a lot, so. Cool. Yeah, That's glad awesome. you guys are yeah. enjoying it. Absolutely. Yeah. Super fun, super, super, super fun. Now what's interesting here is like the water's angle is like this, but the people are usually leaning this way. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of, um, just trying to show that, that difference here so that we can get a feel of the people leaning up against that rail. And that water over there on the, I mean, there's just so much, so much mist. I think that's cool that it's called the Lady of the Mist or whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> so appropriate, right? Just like lit up, misty. So this is where, you know, using your finger as a smudging blending tool is a it's a great way to go sometimes with acrylic paints because uh, you can just do that right away get in there and make make some make some changes right off the bat when it's still wet and and uh, you can you can do that if you wait too long obviously it's gonna dry but if you do it right away you can smudge stuff you can blend you can you can get a lot out of it, a lot more than a lot of people think. So, just a good thing to know. I, I, at the end of a painting, I've often shown my hands, and you'll see, I mean, I've just got paint on my hands a lot because I'm constantly kind of reaching in, doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I feel like um, I wonder if somebody, you know, I, I always think this, you know, how life is, what, what, what is it, six degrees of separation or something like that, you know, um, and you, you know how you're talking to people sometimes and, and then you realize, oh, like I was in, you know, I, I was at that place that, that same time, you know, oh, we were at that same conference or, you know, something like that. And, um, I think it'd be super, super interesting if, like, somebody that we know or somebody on this, um, you know, on the thing tonight was was around when this picture was taken or something like that, you know, like, um, oh yeah, I think that's like interesting to think about. But like now, you and me, when we were like, <laughs> you stayed in the same. Or at the same seminary where my dad was going to school. Oh, I was like yeah, 10. that was so crazy. Yeah, for sure. I know. We were within like, you know, 500 feet of each other probably. <laughs> yeah, dude. So interesting. You're it's a 10-year-old and I'm like on my way to Indianapolis to live there with Renee. <laughs> yeah. Who, who would have known? It's crazy. When, what time later, of year were you there? Well, shoot. So it was only six. Were you really 10? No, 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 no. You were like what, what six. year was it? You were, you were. It was. It would have been you. You were. Oh shoot, no. You might have been eight years old. I think yeah, you were eight because it was, was two thousand and ten. Right? Yeah, two thousand and ten. Yeah. Uh, isn't that that's so crazy? I forgot about that, man. I mean, I played outside all the time. Those are my stomping grounds. Dude. Yeah. So awesome. So funny. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, like, I mean, and I think that that kind of stuff, I, I, because I, I, you don't know, and you don't even know the right questions to ask, right? Like, oh, were you at, you know, in Chicago, you know, on this, you know, time? You, who, who would ever right. ask that, right? Like, you have to spend so much time, you know, and stuff to, to get to know, oh, like, oh, I was there before, you know, or whatever it is. Um, but it's not, it's not like, it's just automatically uh, everybody's carrying around some card that says every place that they've been in their life. 
although that'd be kind of cool if you could have some sort of way of gauging closeness in the past. Yeah, well, maybe when, yeah, who knows? I mean, I don't really think that's a good idea, but. Well, they already have, I mean, I, I saw this briefly. I don't know how well it's been implemented, but I saw some feature where, like, if you were walking around listening to a song, it would tell you if someone oh. nearby was listening to that same song too or something like that. Oh, really? Interesting. Well, the one thing, I mean, if you're playing Pokemon Go, isn't that, <laughs> that game is, like, all about, like, you know yeah, where yeah. other people are who are playing the game. I remember going to a, we were at a uh, baseball game a couple years ago, like, went, went with my uh, brother-in-law and his sons, and, uh, and they were, they were into Pokemon Go at the time. This was this was a few years ago, I guess. But, um, and uh, I remember them in the, in the stadium. They they were pulling out their thing, and and you could see all these people around that were also playing the game, or you know, on the map or whatever. It was just so interesting. It was like, oh, wow. yeah, like here here you go. Yeah, mixed reality games are this whole genre. Oh really? Like it's an, it's a whole kind of yeah. Like where it overlaps. You're like I just saw an yeah. ad for one that's like, it's kind of like an RPG or something. Like you go on quests in the real world to find like hidden treasure and stuff. It's kind of cool. Oh really? Yeah. That's so interesting, man. So interesting. Um, I feel like, I mean, you 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 would probably know more about this than I do, but I remember hearing like people. And it might not have been that kind of game, but it was just like video games, di different video games, um, where like people would, they they were getting so into it and like having the the right kind of like tool or sword or something like that that they were actually like, I feel like I heard one time that somebody killed somebody, in real life, f trying to get like their oh yeah sword or something like that or maybe that was just a video or a, a movie i think i do remember seeing a movie that was coming out that, that kind of dealt with the idea of that mixed reality and like all the all the interesting stuff that can happen with it but yeah i mean i know that that's not there's normal. some crazy stories like down that vein yeah yeah i bet So doing a lot of negative shape painting here, just, just trying to kind of get some of the shapes in there. And I, I actually feel like it's working kind of with, with the scene okay. Um, you know, you don't, you know, if you're, if you're in a tight spot with time or something like that, you know, you can just get the hint of something. And if you have time, you can go back in more. You can do do more of the actual shaping and stuff like that but sometimes it's it's unnecessary sometimes you don't need to um, I'll probably go in there and do a little bit more uh, work up kind of as it's close to close to this so that I can try to show some of the the bottom, like the, the feet of people. Um. Gene Hudson says, haven't been to Niagara, Fall Niagara Falls for about 40 years. There's a big casino and hotel there now. It is a spectacle in itself, but very touristy. I would go back now to visit the wineries. Okay, cool. Yeah, makes sense. It's know, very touristy. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, twelve million visitors. Of course, you yeah. know, you you think in 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 reality, you go like, okay, get it now, but you don't necessarily think that kind of thing. Like when I remember hearing about a place called Gatlinburg in Tennessee, and um and hearing cool stuff about it. Like it's a really cool place to go. And then I remember talking to somebody else and like, yeah, it's, it's very, it's changed a lot. It's very touristy. I, they weren't saying that it wasn't a good place to go, but they were just explaining how it had, 
a lot of a lot of that going on and uh i mean it's just it's just kind of the way it is isn't it it's like where people go and there's you know there's obviously going to be a lot of need for services and stuff like that and uh business is all about location <laughs> right location yep. location Except ours. Location. <laughs> yes you just have to I don't know what the what the what would the what would the key be for uh, an online business. Obviously, it's Equipment, not going to be location, probably, technology. Yeah, maybe, and uh, engagement. Maybe, but that's an after the fact thing. I, I don't know. It's it's interesting. So. Um, I'm liking, I'm, I'm kind of liking the feel of, of the, the falls a bit here. Um, probably need to straighten up some of the water a little bit as I'm looking and comparing. Looks like they are a little bit straighter coming down, like in this area. Uh, but who cares? That doesn't matter that much. I just, just kind of looking to see how, how things can be. Um, made a little bit more accurate and one thing that I just noticed in looking at this is that I can actually make these people up here one thing that would help is if I made these people a bit bigger so they're they're closer and so I'm going to just kind of extend them a little bit here um, so that we get that perspective hopefully in here. Um, and that's the dude that's got his, you can see his legs a little bit. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can get a little bit happening with that. Just because that's, I'm not gonna be doing too much detail here at all, but maybe if I can just get this one guy not make him too cowboyish, but if I can spread his feet apart just a teensy bit here and get something, um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with that, but okay. And then also want to just work on the shadow underneath him slightly. Okay, but hopefully that. It's not that much, and it might need to be more. There might need to be more other places. But little details like that, that little thing there, it's, it's the edges um, most often in, in a, a subject or an object or something like that. Like you can have a big mass of stuff, and then if you define a few edges, um, you, can, you can tell what it is. And... Um, so I'm going to do something now where I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a little bit of work on people just to put in a little bit of variety and a little bit more color, a little bit more uh, stuff like that, just to, just to vary it up a little bit, make it more interesting, show some different shirt colors, stuff like that. Not everybody's wearing the same color shirt, are they? I don't think so. It's interesting because in this scene, even though um, we, we uh, people are, what was I gonna say? Well, there's, there's a mass of people, but it's pretty dark. The photograph is quite dark, so it's not it is, yeah. super easy to see, um, you know, this kind of stuff down here. So what I'm, I'm probably going to um, come in and and just for fun, like lighten some stuff up, you know, put in some different colors down here because it'll it'll help bring a little bit of I don't know joy to the scene. 
if you can bring joy through art, <laughs> through paint. <laughs> Uh, which I think you, you, can, you can at least try, right? I'm going to open up this orange. I want to get some orange in here, and I don't want to have to mix it every time. So let's do it. This will be kind of a fun color to have. Maybe just gray it down a little bit instead of putting green in there. bit of a warmer color. And for me, like this is so much of this is just just again, it's just it's just little dabs of colors. It's like you know, you're just kind of making stuff up, right? I mean, a lot of this is just like how do we how do we create a scene that that looks kind of realistic, but without, without painting everything, right? And it's amazing to me. It, like, there's times I, I'll, I think where it started for me it, is when I would paint plain air. And I'd be, there were these, you know, um, you know, if you've ever been to a plain air competition, you might know that there's often a quick draw or a quick paint. They'll call it different things, different places, stuff like that. But the idea is you have a certain amount of time and you're supposed to paint a full painting and blah, blah, blah. You know, like it's, it's like pretty serious and it's, a, it's, it's, you know, you have like an hour to paint something. And I would always be, because I'm so dang competitive and so I just always want to win everything that I do. And I think if I just paint like a, something that's easy, it's not going to win. So I got to paint something that's hard. So I'd set up and I'd paint. And also I'm just looking for stuff that's interesting to me because I don't some stuff that you paint can be like it just feels kind of boring and so I would always find like a scene it, I'd actually paint a scene like this this would be something that I might paint not from this necessarily like this vantage point but but um but like I'm thinking of some farm farmer's market kind of scenes where there were like lots and lots of vendors and lots and lots of uh people and and all this stuff going on and and I would I would choose that to be my my subject and and it was complicated it's like whoa there's a lot of stuff here and so I'm just flying and I'm putting in a little bit of detail here and there but it's not really detailed at all it's just like dabs of color and stuff like that and what was fun though with it is like you get amazed sometimes in the end you, you look at something like I mean not that those paintings were super super incredible but what would amaze me is I would go wow like you don't always need that much detail in there and it still looks it's still totally like I can tell what I was trying to do there and it's super fun because it's just it just kind of frees you up to go wow a dab of color can make a big difference and I I, uh, I take that into what I do now more um, because um, it frees you up so much. So a little word to you. You can do the same thing and it'll make your painting more fun sometimes. Just try doing dabs. Dabs of color. Okay, let's see. I got to get back up into this. Water, just some more. So, Peter, what are you doing? I haven't heard your voice in a while. Peter's not there. Everybody say hi to Peter. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sheesh. I hate it when you leave, bro. I shouldn't have said that out loud in public, but I do. Um, the Le Tony from the Laguna Planner Painter Association came by, and she said, Hi, this okay, is Tony yeah. watching from Laguna Beach. 
Um, loving this. Oh, Never cool. been to Niagara Falls, but it's on my bucket list. Going to have to join the family for dinner now, but I've enjoyed watching. Oh, cool. Well, she's probably gone, but hey, Tony, so glad that you're here tonight. And Tony's part, of, she's, uh, she's the president of the, or let's see, what is she? Yeah, she's the president of the Laguna Plain Air Association and uh, amazing lady. And, and uh, I'm glad to have been able to be part of that. That was such a fun event to be part of. And I, I man, I can't even say, I was blown away with their, what they pulled off um, this year, knowing that almost every, almost every plein air event got canceled this year and they determined not to. And, and they pulled off something that was totally different, totally, you know, cause we couldn't be there live and they had to like switch gears really quickly and come up with different solutions, you know, figure stuff out that they'd never done before. Boy, they did a great job. And anyway, she's part of the, the miniature painting challenge now too, which is really cool. So shout out to La Laguna Plain Air. Yeah. Um, peeps, all the peeps. Okay, now, oh, I see. I've got some stuff going on here that's absolutely not, absolutely not working. I need to adjust something here. So I need to establish this little line. There's, there's kind of a, like a line here um, of where this kind of starts and falls over. Bucket list, Niagara Falls, bucket list. I like that. I wonder who, oh yeah, bucket list is, means like before you kick the bucket, right? But um, I was just trying to think like who, who thought of that term? That's kind of an interesting term, but it's so common now. Like I remember when I first heard it and I never had heard it before. So I think it's kind of like a relatively new term. Sue Brent says, I love how this painting is coming to life and has a warm nocturnal look to it right now. Oh yeah, it probably does. Um, yeah, it's so, it's so hard to get these, um, like as I look at what you see and what, what, what I see, they're, they're, they're different and I need to, I need to do more work on getting this camera, um, kind of up to, up to speed. Peter, I probably need you to help me with that actually next time, next week, I can work on that a little bit. What, getting that camera up? Yeah, no, this camera right there, no, 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 look out. Um, <laughs> you, you'll see what I just did. But uh, it's, it's, um, it is, it is, um, the color and the value is just slightly off and I, I can't figure out how to adjust mm. it myself. Well, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we can definitely tweak it. It might have something to do with the white balance or, I mean, cameras don't perfectly interpret what you see, so. Yeah, I know. But I want it to be perfect. <laughs> I know you do. Um, somebody, somebody here has painted. Uh, Dave Broerman says, Jed, I painted the falls. It's a rush. You just have to watch the crowds. They will rush you. Oh, at the falls? Oh, really? That's cool. And he says, don't carry your wallet and be aware people try to touch your painting. Really? How interesting. Well, that's good to know, Dave. I appreciate yeah. that because that's, that's really interesting. And uh, yeah, wow. It's, I feel like um, that, that just reminds me a little bit of like when you know, if you're going to Italy, people say kind of similar things like, just like put your wallet in a safe place and, you know, like don't let, you know, people be trying to come up and kind of like 
make contact with you so they can pickpocket you and that kind of thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Bev B asks, Peter, have you started painting yet? No, <laughs> not yet. I've drawn. I've been doing some drawing, but haven't painted. Have I still need to do Doug's challenge. Yeah, Doug's challenge is for point. you, man. Yeah. Dang. I need somebody to help me film it, though, because I'm ambitious. <laughs> oh, because you want to film it. Oh, boy. Yeah. You just got to come over here and do it. There you go. No excuses, bro. No excuses? No excuses. <laughs> got a whole place over here where you can film it. We can take care of that. It's Doug's challenge. The Doug challenge. P um, SGD Studio Peter. asks, Peter, will you ever be in front of the camera? Um, I, good question. Probably some point. Or at some point in Acrylic University's history. I'm trying to do more like... Um, I don't really need to be in front of the camera much. That's usually Jed's job. But like I've been posting stuff in the community here and there with like, you know, my face in it when I'm showing something or... Uh, Renee made a meet the team page, I think, on the face or inside the membership and put a picture of myself there. Yeah. Come here, yeah. Peter. Doug will film you. There you go. Oh, Doug, Doug, Doug will film. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. I love it. Yes, that's perfect. Um, oh, Doug, I saw your sermon recently. It's pretty good. Yeah, that oh that was that was awesome, Doug. I uh, that that was super cool. I, I I wanted to say something about that too. That was that was fun to see, super fun. Yeah, it was. Doug made rev he used the illustration. Um, he he showed a little bit of time lapse videos, and it was, it was pretty cool um, from from some stuff that I painted in the past, and uh, kind of used it in what he was talking about. So that was that was really fun to see. I think. When I, I, I responded to your email, Doug, because you, you sent something and said something about it, and I, I responded, but I hadn't watched it yet. And then later I watched it, and uh, so I felt like I should have probably watched it first and then responded, but um, it was fun to watch. Very fun. Let's get some more white in here. I know that one of the things that I, I think is a little bit different is the, well, it's starting to starting to get a little bit uh, brighter in the in this in the picture that you're looking at. I'm just kind of using the edge of my brush because that'll give it a little bit scratchier feel, a little broken broken line, broken edge kind of thing, and. Uh, and then I need to come in here. This is where I think I've got a little bit of a problem is that this is up a little bit too high. I need to kind of go make this come toward us a little bit more right here. But aren't these colors great? I mean, like the the sunlight hitting the water is just so dramatic and, and beautiful. Man, love it. Love it so much. Yeah, it's looking really nice. I love the how you made it look hazy on the left side of the painting where the mist is coming up. Yeah, well, I was just looking at that. And I was like, man, it's really misty over there. Because, I mean, Lady of the Mist, there we go. Yeah. The trick with some of this, like in here, I'm going to try to do a little bit to define There's these, this little island thing. And I want to make it look like there's a little bit more color, but I don't want it to really get a ton lighter in value. So that can be a little bit complicated or a little bit, you know, challenging to find that right place where, you know, you're trying to show 
a little bit of the the uh, the contours and stuff like that of the bushes and all that, and at the same time, kind of keep that in its right value and not not looking too uh, too light. And the same thing back here. I'm just going to try to bring in a little bit more detail on these kind of areas where there's trees and you know we can see a little bit more back there. And I might even there's a couple houses back there. Um, I might even try to looks like houses to me. There's some kind of flat and it looks like a building of some sort. And then in here, I've got that mist. I'm going to try to work, work kind of through the mist. I can hardly see what's actually going on in that area, but I might define a tiny bit with, um, shoot, that didn't work. Wrong color. Didn't get enough of that on my brush. And I'll probably come in here, let's see, it's hard to see, you can't see through a ton um, through the people. There's such a crowd of people there that, that it's actually uh, kind of hard to see uh, past them. But I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that red up there. I just want that to become more of a, a like a little bit cooler color, a little bit more subdued so that it's not standing out quite as much. So grab some more neutral colors and come up here to put some of that in. It can be kind of green, but a little bit darker, a little bit, like I said, just get rid of some of that red. That'll help it feel like it's further away. And we'll leave some of the red stuff up here. And that'll pull this forward a little bit. The warm colors tend to, tend to come forward in the more cool colors. Again, everything's relative. I say those words with a little bit of, a little bit of hesitation because I don't want to throw people off. But hey, Peter, it is time. Let's let's give away that first painting. Have you? Did I you already find have. Winner? Yeah, I already have the winner. Oh set. boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Um. Okay, so I'm Bev I'm B. already now because I. Bev B. All right, Bev B. Is taking this painting. We're gonna give this away because this. Wow, I did this on the Blick live stream, and look at this, a tiny little dab of paint on there. But yeah, this is going to you, Bev. Well, congratulations for that. That's exciting. All right, so, and Bev, um, was Bev oh, sorry, with us ahead. yesterday then? Or, or, uh... Yeah, she was. She texted me and said, Jed painted that at the Blick demo. So. Okay, super awesome. Yeah, fun. I'm glad to give that to somebody who was there, even though we couldn't give it away at the event. All right, I'm going to pick the, the, the winner of this painting. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, perfect. Please do. Sounds good. Yeah, so if you haven't, you've got like five seconds to do this. Text the word WIN to this number, and uh, that'll put you on the list for today. And we'll, Peter might just be calling your name here in about a second. Actually, he's going to text you back first and verify that you're still here. Because that's one of the rules, of course. You know, we got to have our rules here, right? But I feel pretty good about this painting. I like it. I think it's, it's got something going for it here. All right, I just sent out the text. Nice. Thank you, my friend. It's my good friend Peter Stout here. Let's give it up for Peter Stout. Woo, Peter! He's the guy. <laughs> Look at him.
Um, okay, yeah, we have the winner for this painting as well. Nice. Okay. Who is that? Um, Adrian Barclay. All right, Adrian. Well, congratulations. Super glad that you were here with us tonight. Super glad that you won this painting. So Peter's going to get your information, guys. If you won something, make sure you stay on. Just, you know, interact with him a little bit because he needs to pull in your address and stuff like that so that we can actually get this shipped off to you and you can actually receive it. You want to know something funny? I, I shared this the other day on my Instagram, but uh, I, I, I painted um, I, I painted something like in the spring and it sold on, off our website from somebody who uh, is actually in Canada, maybe watching tonight, I'm not sure, I can't remember your name right now, forgive me for that, but she bought this little painting and uh, we sent it off. It was probably August or something, Renee was telling me. And uh, maybe September, I don't know, sometime, but it it never made it. It it just disappeared in the somewhere between here and Ontario, Canada, it disappeared. And uh, so, we're like, okay, now what should I do? So I repainted it, and uh, I was really happy with the way that the, the I actually, I hope that she likes it better than the first one too, but I liked it better than the first one. Um, it was, it, it just felt a little bit more like, part of it was the process. The first one felt like, it, it was a nice painting, but it took me a while. It was, it, it was a process of like struggle and kind of like, mm -hmm. ooh, the the second one was you know just more like oh yeah i know what i'm doing with this one let's go let's do this and it felt like a really you know kind of fun painting in that in that sense and so uh that might have influenced my thinking on it a little bit but i i definitely feel like i liked it uh, just a little bit more and stuff so anyways but this is fun man i like this this is this is uh, yeah i'm excited about really nice. this Thanks, bro. I think you did a good kinda, job putting the kinda, people there. I was kind of fishing for a compliment from you. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, have you ever you ever do that in real life though? I mean, I wasn't really, but I. It's kind of funny. I do that with Renee all the time. I'll be like, so I just was working on this. What do you think of this? You know, and I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of like hoping yeah. that she'll like it. You know, like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I do that so with John L sometimes too. <laughs> yeah. It's it's always a little bit painful when when they're like, well, you know, it's or or just no no words, just nothing. It's just kind of quiet, and you're like, okay, I got it. I need to go <laughs> yeah. work at it. You know, like whatever. Okay, very fun, very fun. I'm gonna be putting on the last couple brush strokes here, and calling this good, but. Boy, you guys, I hope that you had as much fun as I did tonight because I had a blast. This is this is so so fun, and yeah, I uh, hope that great, the, you're able to join us in a couple weeks when we go to Montana. And yes, yeah, so uh, we have a man, we have Doug. A few if there's a week, hey, bro, 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 I just had the best idea, Doug. If you're with us, we need to get you on next time when we're in Montana because that would be the perfect time. Peter, can you? work that out with Doug. That would be awesome. Get him in, yeah. into Discord with us and we'll have a blast with him in here. <laughs> I can do that. Would um, that. Does that make sense? Since yeah, we're going for sure. to Montana, it seems like the perfect appropriate time to get him on. Super awesome. Um, okay, so we have a just a couple things really quick uh, Mimi Rosie or Rossi asked what color did you prime the canvas and he primed it black um, yeah it was black and then somebody asked me if I'd be posting it in the community afterwards and yes I'll I'm gonna post it in the community of uh, the finished painting right after this so yeah I'm gonna take a picture right away we'll get it over to Peter and uh, he'll post it for us there thank you so much Peter for that yeah and oh, I also one more thing sorry real quick and then uh, SGD Studio asked, when are we going next week? So there won't be Friday Night Live next week, but the week after that. So two, two weeks, weeks from now. Two weeks from now. February 5th, we're going to be um, headed to, where did I say? Montana. That's right. Yeah. Two weeks from now. So we got a little bit of time. Um, 
And, uh, but we're, we'll be headed there in, at that point, and it's going to be super, super awesome. I'm looking forward to it so much. Okay, last brush stroke there. Now, I just want to say this really quickly. You guys, let's see here. Okay, changing real quick. Also, remember, the miniature challenge is happening in, in February 14th. Some of you are already in it. You're having a blast. I'm glad about that. If you know people that want to be involved with that, make sure you tell them February 14th to be uh, on the, on the, have signed up already because it, it's going to launch right then. And it's super awesome when everybody's on the same page, same timetable. In fact, we learned a little bit this last time through that we, we, we went back and we backdated everybody so that they'd be on the same page because it was, it's not fun if you're, you're behind a few days. So anyways, we're going to cut off the, the, the sign up for that though. So make sure that you sign up by February 14th. And if you have friends that would be interested in being involved, you can get them there or you can just join our membership and you can be part of it. So anyways, love you guys. Want you to know God loves you. I love you. We believe in you. We're so proud of you. We love seeing what you're doing. Um, 